think he heard terminal for the first time. He's understanding that not only if he doesn't get this drug, he's going to die from this disease. He understands that the natural history of Duchenne is that you die from it. For the past 63 or 4 weeks, um, our son Max Leclerc has been undergoing an experimental drug treatment for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. He's one of only 12 kids in the United States and um, his older brother Austin is currently non-ambulatory because of the same disease, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and he was not able to, to be part of that trial because he is no longer walking. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a muscle disability that makes you not as strong as everybody else and you get weaker as you get older. It's affected me for 13, 14 years. Go, going to the bathroom, taking showers, going to bed, doing schoolwork. Makes it harder because you're not able to move as much, needing more help on everything. Max was using a wheelchair most of the time. Actually, the drug was not supposed to help him get better. It was supposed to just stabilize or stop the progression of the disease. And um, Max has shocked everybody and actually is getting better. And um, most people that see him say that you wouldn't know that he has Duchenne. And we would have expected him to not be walking at this point. He's almost 11 and his brother was fully non-ambulatory at this age. He's going through a trial for Edipleerson, the drug I'm trying to get. And he's getting, he wasn't able to, he was slowly stopping, not being able to walk, and then as soon as he's on the drug, he is hopping around, being more annoying. This is the first drug of its kind. This is the first treatment for Duchenne. And this is the first time that many families have had any hope whatsoever, and it is so close. I would like to see it help me get stronger and stop me from getting weaker. It can slow down the progression and help you get a little stronger. I would like to do do the same things I have been doing, but hopefully it makes everything easier. Yeah, it's a lot tougher than if I could do it. If, it, if I could walk, it would be a lot easier. Everybody's very happy for Max, and that might be hard for him. We try not to celebrate here in the house because, you know, how can we celebrate you know, Max's gains when Austin's just losing, so. Um. I mean, it should be, this time in our life should be just full of joy. I mean, we have a drug that, um, you know, shows that, you know, our son's not going to die early or he's going to live a lot longer. And uh, it's, it's awful hard to, to have one boy that's getting better and one boy that's getting worse. It's really difficult. And it's difficult for Austin to watch because he's old enough and he realizes it. So I feel a little bit sad, you know, every, every week we send Max to get an infusion that, in Max's own words, his brother needs more. So it's really, really hard. It's also really hard to explain to a 14-year-old that, yes, your brother's been on this drug for a year and a half, and actually, you know, you probably need it more. And we're sorry and there's nothing we can do. You know, we would love to find a way to give it to him right this second, but um, it's just not going to happen unless it's on the track for accelerated approval and then it could happen very fast. If they don't approve it then lots of kids um, by 20 they're not most of them aren't going to be alive by then. That's why we're really hoping the drug gets approved. I am 14. I just really hope they attract they help they have that in their heart to help me.